right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. And new, uh, if you want to support the channel in appreciation of, of all the free knowledge that I give away, pick up some merch, pick up a sticker, mouse pad, help support the channel. I really appreciate and thank you uh, to those of you who have done so already. Okay, so today we are back in Tableau and I want to talk about troubleshooting your reset all filters button. So I have a video already on, on how to set up uh, the reset all filters button. I'm not going to go over setting it up. We're going to go over uh, a troubleshooting uh, option because sometimes you'll put that reset all filters uh, button in place and then it doesn't work. So let's let's first take a look at this dashboard that I uh, built for the real world fake data initiative put together by uh, Mark Bradburn over at Tableau. Big shout out to uh, Mark. And I put this together in the Keith Dykstra style. So Keith Dykstra does some great business dashboards and I saw that he had one out on Tableau Public. I was like, let me see if I can put something together in that style. And so I think I've uh, I think I've done a pretty good job um, uh, putting this together, submitting this for the initiative. So let's take a look here. So um, we have by state, I can see how many orders are generated, and then I can switch over here to hours, right, and see kind of the, uh, the times, the number of orders uh, for this month uh, by different times. Um, we can take a look at the order amounts by hour, a little heat map here. I can, you know, see that uh, the darker colored squares here indicate more orders were on those, um, those days and times, right? And then I can, I can select uh, by month if I wanted to, if I wanted to say, hey, October uh, 3rd here, October uh, 2019 on the 3rd, 22,158 orders, right? Click off of that if I wanted to. I can select uh, by state. So I've got some, some filter options here. Um, there's that 22,158 uh, for, for Georgia, right? I'm sorry, uh, 45, yeah, 4505 for Georgia on this specific date. And I can see that's true because it also matches here and it also matches here. But anyway, uh, we've got the states here as well. So uh, this is, right, select this, I can show my filters. I don't like to uh, show them all the time. It looks a little cleaner. Uh, I can select reset all filters. We know how the reset all filters button works and then everything goes back uh, to, to normal here. Um, you can see I have 585,530, which is my, what I, the number I expect to see, the number of orders I expect to see for this, uh, for this month. So what happens if I, if I go up here and I say, just show me, just show me a town, right? There's only one a town, right? Atlanta. Okay. 70,588. Great. Let's reset the filters here. And then it's like, oh, it's not working. So how do we troubleshoot this? So here's what, here's what we want to do. Let's go in here. I'm going to come into here. And the first thing I'd want to check out, obviously, there are dashboard actions, right? So I'm going to go to the dashboard, um, dashboard actions. And then I'm going to take a look at my reset all filters action. Go into edit. And then we're just going to double check some things just to make sure that um, uh, everything looks good. So on select... So for this dashboard, is named Real World the Fake Data Retail Analysis. I'm on select of re reset filters. And then for every other uh, worksheet on this dashboard, I want to make sure that they're selected with the exception of reset filters. So that looks clean. And then you know in the targeted filters, you can't just select all fields. You have to select each field that you want to reset. So don't worry about what any of these are. What, what, I'm, what I'm looking for is location city. So I see location city is here. So, okay, that's, um, you know, that, that would be a head scratcher. If that wasn't there, that'd be something I'd want to add. So, you know, you could just hit add filter, select the, uh, the source and the target uh, to be location city, and you say, okay, but that's already here. So, hmm, head scratcher, right? So the next step I would do, let's go in here to the sheet. And so what you want to look for you want to look for, um, so 
you see these icons here. So let's go over this icon right here. This says applies to selected worksheet with same source data. All this means is this filter is being applied to uh, multiple sheets, right? You see that also applies to worksheets. This one, this icon means applies to all worksheets with the same data source. So that's the flag I want to check for, right? That's my flag. So let's go over here. Let's take a look. Go to apply to worksheets. I don't want all using the same data source. Let's go to selected worksheets. And I'm going to take a look. Let's see what we can see in here. And you'll notice my reset filters worksheet is checked. Aha, right? We don't want that. I don't want um, this filter applied to reset filters because that has a tendency to screw things up as we saw. So let's uncheck that. Uh, reset filters say okay so now let's test our theory we're going to go back into the dashboard i have city selected let's see if i select reset filters and you see now it works so that was the key um, whenever you see again going back in here whenever you see this symbol well i don't have it now we selected it but whenever you see this symbol for all using this data source that's going to be a red flag because it's going to try it's going to apply that filter to our reset uh, filters worksheet we don't want that we want to make sure that's taken off so that was a quick tip um you know it can be a head scratcher sometimes when you when you set up your reset filters the way that i indicate in my in my previous video and it doesn't work so that's just a couple couple tips here a couple techniques you can try uh, to make sure that this is working and then I can you know I can apply two things here we we'll go Georgia and let's say I just want to see these top four here that's fine let's uh, let's reset the filters and it works so again this has been Anthony Smoke giving you a tip on how to troubleshoot your reset all filters uh, worksheet make sure to take this tip get out there do some great things with your data thanks for watching everyone